Hey guys, I was just wanting to tell you a few tips that you can check for uh, any problems that you may be having with your uh, 2005 to 2008 Chevy Colorado or Isuzu or GMC Canyon. Uh, one of the problems that some people have with these things are electrical issues. They're, they're known for them. And I'm just going to tell you how you can maybe alleviate some of those problems. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to address is the uh, corrosion and things of that nature uh, that goes on with a lot of the terminals. I replaced my uh, battery terminals with a uh, aftermarket. I believe they're called Raptor. Um, a lot of people use them for uh, like stereo installation and things of that nature. They're gold plated. Um, so that definitely comes in handy so you don't have to worry about corrosion. One of the other things that you want to check for is right here. Let me see if I can point it to you. Is uh, this uh, where I'm sticking my finger at right here. You see that little bolt right there. This is a grounding point right there on the um, trucks. There's two of them. There's one right here on the driver's side and then there's another one right over here it's right behind the uh right behind the um let me get this right out the way right behind the um air uh, cleaner right there you want to make sure that those are clean and uh you know you might want to take a wire brush to them things of that nature also one of the other issues that you can have with these is the uh, connectors on the fuse box take that off if you if you look right here you'll see uh, had my truck sandblasted a while back I gotta clean this off but um, you want to make sure that these connectors right here and that uh, mega fuse are good and uh, you also want to check these these things can come loose for some reason don't know why but they do and that can cause problems as well with your electrical connectors um, one of the last things I'm going to address is the uh, fan control on the uh, unit a lot of times what happens is as you turn the fan on and it won't cut on except for the uh, number four setting on the uh, fan selector and the reason why that is is because the pin and the resistor they um, somehow or another they come loose and this what this is what happens to them right here and they burn out and it happens quite often in a lot of these uh, 2005 2008 Chevys and GMC's and Isuzu's uh, I ordered the parts. I got mine from AutoZone. Uh, you can get them from Rock Auto and other places too. Uh, and you wind up uh, basically, I think it cost me a total of about like 60 bucks for everything. What costs you the most, believe it or not, is not, not the uh, resistor here, but the wiring harness. And uh, basically, they just give you the plug with about, I think it's about maybe two feet of wire. And I cut mine, cut mine down and spliced it in, and everything seems to be working fine with that now. Um, and uh, one of the other things also, uh, just to let you know about, is uh, if for some reason you don't get your uh, uh, lights, the back it's, it's not backlit here in the AC and the heater section, for some reason, the AC units uh, th that they put in these things, they have these LED bulbs, and they're put in series, I believe they are. And um, and because of that, if one goes out, they all go out, and they do have they they do tear up quite a bit. Um, you can order them. They they you know I went to um, Radio Shack and bought some LEDs, and I soldered my own in. And uh, that solved my problem. Uh, you can also go to a junkyard and uh, get a replacement unit. Uh, I think uh, replacement unit uh, locally uh, here is about around 21 bucks. And uh, I had a friend of mine do that, and his seemed to be working okay. 
And so uh, those are just the issues that I've come across since I've owned my truck for the last year now. And, now, and since I fixed all of those things, you know, uh, it seems to be running fairly well. Um, you know, if you have any questions or anything like that, you know, there's a lot of forums out there. Uh, one of the forums that I go to is um, is the 355 uh, forum. Uh, 355, I guess, was the name that uh, General Motors gave to these trucks when they were uh, designing them. And so um, there's a lot of knowledgeable guys on there, and they were the ones that told me a lot about the issues and how to fix them but i thought i'd make a video because a lot of people may not know about all of those uh, forms that are out there hope this helps you out thanks have a good day